China wants its two million strong military combat ready. But war is already playing out between the U.S. and China on the technological battlefield. New export controls from the Biden administration choke off China's access to advanced computer chips, throttling China's high-tech ambitions. Those tiny computer chips. Washington upping the ante. Just weeks before, U.S. President Joe Biden and Chinese leader Xi Jinping met in Bali, where they promised to stabilize U.S.-China relations. But fierce competition on technology set to intensify, despite the handshakes and smiles. This act is unprecedented in terms of modern times. This certainly poisons the waters further. The goal? To protect America's national security interests by stopping China from advancing its military capabilities that Washington says includes weapons of mass destruction. But America's latest move hits virtually all of China's industries because almost everything has a chip in it. Your smartphone, car, refrigerator. This has had a tremendous effect on the Chinese economy. Beijing claims Washington is strangling the country by the neck. China's readout of Biden and Xi's meeting at the G20 said, starting a trade war or a technology war, pushing for decoupling and severing supply chains run counter to the principles of market economy. Such attempts serve no one's interests. China has poured billions of dollars and years of effort into building its semiconductor industry. But it still lags far behind the U.S., Taiwan and South Korea. When you talk to Chinese officials, they say it's probably put them back a decade, right, in their effort to obtain an indigenous source of advanced microprocessors. Xi Jinping is urging the country to be self-reliant in technology and innovation, telling chip engineers at a factory to grasp the lifeblood of technology in our own hands and prepare for even more restrictions from Washington. I expect these types of export controls to be rolled out in lots of other key strategic industries. The new rules bar the export to China of advanced chips made anywhere in the world using U.S. technology bans U.S. companies from selling tools needed to make those chips, restricts Americans from supporting chip development at certain manufacturing facilities in China, cutting China off from critical talent. The U.S. sees China as its biggest long-term strategic threat that has the power and intent to reshape the international order. So Washington wants to stop selling anything to China that could later be used against the U.S., but as China turbocharges its homegrown industries, the battle for technology supremacy Three, two, is only beginning. Selena Wang, CNN, Beijing.